Hello guys, Bud here with Dependable Lawn Care and I just got in my RBG 950 kit. It's the attachment that goes on your RBG uh, 712 or 934 that allows you to sharpen the wavy style blades. So your typical wavy mulch blades. Uh, so, I'm going to go over with you real quick. Here's my paperwork. So here's all the information for Wall Enterprises Incorporated. It's a, just a small family-owned business with a couple of employees that uh, build the RBG blade grinder and uh, build it and sell it. So, they're in Whiteland, Indiana. And again, there's all their information. This is my actual invoice. So here's the list price. $159.95 and then after shipping this is what I paid $179.87 so uh, that was the price for this and so it comes with a new guard and the reason for that is because the side is cut out to add this and then it comes with the industrial flap disc that goes on it which that's the flap disc that they use and bolts and washers uh, drill bit so we'll see what that's for I haven't even uh, haven't even got into mounting this up yet so you guys are just gonna learn right along with me and then this would be the extension off of the drive shaft so yeah so that's gonna be what attaches the flap disc to the existing shaft so you see the, the housing obviously is going to have to come off, which that's just four bolts. And uh, the two bolts in the back hold on the spark arrester. So that'll come off as well. And then we'll bolt everything on. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this off. I'm going to go ahead and change my disc out while I'm at it because I have a new one. And, uh, you know, I've already sharpened a ton of blades with that disc. And it's still working fine, but since I'm going to have it all apart anyways... Might as well throw the new one on there. So let's uh, jump right into it, guys. All right, guys, let me show you what I've got done so far. So there's the uh, spark catcher laying back there. Here's the original cover, which, like I said, it's identical to the new one, except this piece. They've gone ahead and removed it. Uh, and I still have my old wheel on. So I'm going to take the old wheel off real quick and put it back on. I've showed you guys how to do that before, just a pair of 15 16 wrenches and zip it right off. And then the arbor extension, after I get the new wheel back on, the arbor extension just screws right on to this, uh, right up against this nut is the way the directions show it. So let's get the new wheel on here and then we will jump into that. All right, guys, the new wheel is on. So now we're going to take the arbor extension and it goes right on here. So, thread that on. Okay. I wondered how that was going to work. So it actually bottoms out on the threads before it gets to that nut. So it doesn't actually push up against that nut. If you can see the space there. So, anyway. Uh, get my two wrenches and tighten up that arbor. And then we'll put the new cover back on the new housing and then add our extension for the uh, the wavy blades now I have the RBG 934 and the way I understand it this is the same process for the RBG 712 uh, the difference the 712 is a 7 inch disc and a half horse motor the 934 is a 9 inch disc and a 3 quarter horse motor so that's the difference. Now when you add this kit, it turns the 712 into the 750, and it turns the 934 into a 950. It, it becomes a whole whole new unit. So um, that was what was explained to me by the manufacturer. So anyway, tighten this up and get the new housing on here, which uh, the new housing and the uh, spark catcher We'll go back on and then we'll be adding the new pieces to it. So it's all back on. Basically everything is exactly the way it was. 
with the exception of this cutout being gone and having the arbor sticking out here for your flap disc. Now the flap disc goes on after you've uh, after you've got your guard mounted on and all that. And that'll just go on hand tight. I just wanted to show you that before I put the guard on. So the next thing we're going to do is put the guard in place and drill the holes for the bolts. Now so far this is what I've used tool wise. A pair of 5 16 wrenches and a half inch wrench and I, I grabbed a 5 16 socket as well just to make taking the uh, the old blade off, or the old uh, disc off a little faster. So anyway let's get the guard on here. See how that is. So I've got my whole spots marked. There's supposed to be a template and uh, I couldn't find my template, which I might have, I might have accidentally thrown that away. But uh, it wasn't hard to set the guard in place and line it up. You know, no big deal there. So, anyway, uh, the bit that they send you in this kit, it's a pilot point bit, which keeps the bit from wandering when it starts drilling the hole. And so uh, that's really nice. Not only do you have to, you know not have to go look for the right size bit or whatever but you also don't have to have a hammer and a punch and all of that so this will probably be the hardest part of the whole installation will be drilling the holes so I'm gonna drill those real quick and then uh, the bolts go on in a certain way so I'll tell you what that is real quick now these bolts let me open this up okay so the bolts that they give you are a ribbed neck bolt so basically once those are in place you know they stay in place and you don't have to have a wrench on the back side which you notice that it doesn't have a Phillips or a flat and it's not a hex bolt so once these are installed they stay there so there will be four washers on the inside and two washers on the outside I believe is how it goes on so let's get those holes drilled and get the bolts in okay guys so I have my two ribbed bolts. I've got the four washers on them. So I'm going to come in here, put them in the hole. The same one here. Okay. If you guys have never tried holding a camera and doing stuff like this with one hand, you really got to try it to appreciate what a pain in the butt it is. <laughs> so you know I love you guys or I wouldn't be doing this. This really is a pain. So anyway, uh, four washers on the inside, two on the outside, and then what we're going to do, I'm probably going to put the camera down to get this started because it's going to want to fall out. Yeah, I'm going to have to. So uh, what we'll do is we'll put the nut on each bolt. Back on there. Put the nut on each bolt and then go ahead and tighten it up. And what that's going to do is seat the bolt so I'll do that on both of them get them seated and then when I take the nut and the two washers back off it should be in there fixed in place um, if it's not if it's loose then I need to do that again and make sure that they're in there good and tight and then we'll be ready to put our guard on okay guys so I tightened up my my nuts until they were about as tight as I could get them without you know worrying about twisting the bolt off and now, as you can see, that's in there nice and solid, seated in place. So that's a one-time thing. I'll never have to do that again. Now I can put my guard on and, uh, you know, won't have to bother with that anymore. So we're going to put our new guard on along with a nut and washer on each bolt. So let me grab that. Um, now on this... So it has the rest right here, um, and this is where you would rest the blade to sharpen it. So right here has a 7 16 nut that you can loosen, and you can see where that adjusts in and out. So, uh, so that's how you adjust the rest. And right now I've got it all the way out, away from the disc, so I can put it in place and then see where it needs to go. So let's get this on here. Okay, there we 
we go. Now, it's just sitting on there, but it actually rests on the unit right here. So, let's turn that and see if it touches anything. Sorry for the sirens in the background. I think the, uh, the county department has a call. It's not a city call because I never got any notifications. There we go. So, not making any contact, so let's go ahead and put a washer and a nut on both of these. Okay, just like that. right-handed and I'm tightening these left-handed. Kind of awkward. Okay, that's probably tight enough. <laughs> have a tendency to overdo it anyway okay so that's all on there good now I've got to look at the directions and see see how the rest needs to be aligned but uh, that looks pretty good pretty clean um, actually that guard is pretty close pretty close to the disc I think it actually goes inside this part here so, see if I can adjust it in a little bit without it touching. Now we're ready for the operation instructions. So, number one right there, always wear eye protection and thick welder's gloves when operating your RBG blade grinder. So, there's your safety right there. And, uh, and I throw in ear protection, which I just like. A lot of times... Uh, I wear ear protection anyways, and I'll just listen to music or something. So, you know, I mean, you guys do what you want there. But, um, so, before I jump into using it, uh, when I was talking to the manufacturer, now this is what he told me specifically on the phone, was that you, you go ahead and sharpen the, the flat tip. So... Okay, so here's one of my fair smulching blades, all right? So you go ahead and sharpen, which I've done, the the flat tip of the blade, you know, that, that inch or two that's on the very end of the blade. You go ahead and sharpen that with your, with your regular, your regular grinder, okay? Because there's, there's nothing keeping you from doing that. And then after you get that part sharp, then you come over here to your flap disc and it's it's going to be hard to show you without just setting up the camera but basically you just you're going to run it through just like that you just set it here on the rest and the the uh, flap disc conforms to that angle and the only downside is that you know you're you're uh, guessing i guess if you will um, you're guessing on the angle you don't have this this guide right here that keeps it at that perfect 30 degrees of course, on a mulching blade, the part that's important, in my opinion, on the on the angle, really is the tip. You know, that's the part that does most of the cutting, and then this part back here is just uh, recutting what you've already cut. You know, that's why it's offset because it's catching the clippings as they're falling back down, and uh, it's cutting them again. So, so you're not as as worried about the 30 degree angle up here as you are out here on the tip. So. So that's basically how you use it. Um, now I'm running out of daylight, guys. It's uh, it's getting kind of dark out, even if it doesn't look like it on camera. So I'm going to get this guard adjusted real quick, and I'll see if I can run a blade through here so you can actually see this in action. So it's all in place. Um, I did move this guard in just a little bit, and uh, so I'm just going to plug the unit in, and we'll go ahead and run this blade through real quick. I'll set up the camera probably facing this direction. Uh, might give you the best angle so you can actually see what's going on.
you got to see it in action. Um, it's not the best angle. It's kind of hard to see what you're actually looking at there. But the blade is all nice and polished. Um, you know, the this part of the blade doesn't typically get a whole lot of damage to it. It just kind of gets dulled up, I think, more from dust than anything else. And this blade does have a, a nick in it right there, so that's why it looks a little off. Uh, it is sharp. It's just got a little nick in it right there. But anyway, um, so you sharpen up this part right here with your flat disc, the disc, rather, and then you move to the flap disc for the rest of it. So that's basically how it works. So it's just a, a quick two-step. Uh, probably take me longer to get used to probably take me longer to get used to using it um, you know than it will to actually use it but I like it I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy with that what it's gonna do for me guys is it saves me from a whole extra step so what I would normally do is I would sharpen all my flat blades on my RBG 934 and without the the uh, the kit the 950 kit for the wavy blades, I would end up taking my mulching blades over to the post vise and I'd set them up in there. I've got a jig that I use. Um, you know, I'd set them up in there and I'd use a four and a half inch angle grinder to sharpen those. So now that I've got this, I can sharpen the tip, which I, you know, I hadn't even thought about that until he told me that when I was talking to him on the phone. Super cool people over there at Wall Enterprises, by the way. They're just a as I said before, just a family-owned business, and uh, just just super cool people. So, anyway, um, but you sharpen the the flat part right here, you know, the tip of the mulching blade, and then you come over here to get the angle part with the flap disc, and so I can do all of that sitting right here, uh, you know, knock out the whole blade all in one shot, and not have to do my flat blades and then go do my mulching blades I can just do them all while I'm right here so I'm pretty happy about that but uh, I'm out of daylight and I'm about ready to put all my uh, all my tools and stuff away so what I ended up having to get out to do all of this again uh, you don't have to have a 5 a 15 16 socket wrench but uh, that did make it a little easier a pair of 15 16 wrenches for the arbors and then I've got a whole mess up here but the only thing I needed was a half inch wrench a 7 16 wrench and my drill so the rest of this is just me you know, making a mess like I usually do so anyways that's it guys uh, it's it's on and ready to go and I can get some blades sharpened I've still got all these mulching blades so one two three four Looks like seven sets of mulching blades that I need to knock out. So, so now that I've got the uh, the 950 attachment on there, I can get those knocked out and uh, get my X blades on my mower and go mulch some leaves tomorrow. So, as always, guys, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and give it a thumbs up and uh, get out there and make some money. And we'll catch you on the next one.